few years ago, it sounded ridiculous for South Africans to buy generators for that what if I don't have power moments. Today, South Africans are stocking up, buying generators and inverters because it's seen as a huge investment. Now, Macro says it has seen a huge spike in sales because of the massive demand as South Africans go into full panic mode. We, we've, we've put together some uh, solutions that will help our customers through load shedding. I think you're probably looking at a total investment of around 5,000 Rand to do it properly. As I say, your inverter would cost you about 4,000 Rand entry level. Uh, then you would have you, you, all the other devices, uh, the stove, uh, the magneto lights, etc. You would also want to buy some power banks to, to charge your cellular devices. I think half of us didn't even know what <laughs> uh, you know stage six was, um, let alone what stage eight could be. Um, yeah, it's. It's been an interesting time, obviously, with all the rain and stuff, it hasn't helped as well. Um, flooding and no lights, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a bit of a hack for most of, uh, I guess, South Africa and or Gauteng mainly. And I feel sorry for the guys in Centurion as well. Um, but that's why I guess we're all here having to buy, you know, lights and spend more money where we didn't think we needed to. I have a daughter who works at late hours. And when she comes late in the evening at 8 o'clock, I get scared because the lights are off. You don't know if the gate is going to work. And you can't stand outside and wait for her because you're scared. Who locks in the dark out there? So that's an aspect that we have to think of in terms of security. And then in just terms of economics, because a lot of the food stuff is getting spoiled, especially if you buy in bulk, like we do with families. You know, you want to buy in bulk and put in the freezers. The food is getting spoiled, so you end up a lot of wastage of food also in that aspect. I work from home, so it's a hack. We don't have, you know, we don't have a, a generator. I mean, those cost an absolute fortune in itself. So, yeah, I mean, it's 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 just kind of gets your life to a standstill, and actually, it's a pain in the butt. And you want to make money, and I'm commission based, so you rely on obviously, you know, working. And if you can't, it's it's a big problem, especially now at this time of the year when it's a big push. So, yeah, it's it's costing us big time. They need to sit down as the ruling government to sit up and make a plan for the next 50 years for the next generation, because actually this needs to be sorted out. So I'm hoping with the ESCOM group, they can come up with a plan that is feasible for this country. I mean, for the next generation, really. I'm not in that group, but you people are young, so that's for you people.